here. Today we'll be making some Costella cake. This is Costella. It basically only has four ingredients. Egg, sugar, um, honey, um, flour. It does come with a bunch of leftover edges that are also very delicious. Sorry, I haven't had breakfast yet. I like that this cake is not too overly sweet and you can taste a bit of the honey in it also. I'll be using these 5 by 3 inch loaf pans. They're actually the disposable foil ones. Go ahead and line it with some parchment paper. Once you line it with some parchment paper, you can set it aside. Grab a mixer. Oops. You'll just need two eggs. Separate your eggs. For this step, it's really important to not get any yolks into the egg whites or else you can't do this at all. So just go ahead and add in your egg whites. And we're gonna mix this on a high speed of 10 for about 30 seconds. Now it's ready for the sugar. Slowly incorporate the sugar by slowly sprinkling it in until stiff peaks form, which will take about four minutes. It's important to slowly incorporate the sugar so the egg whites can absorb it. Dumping it all at once is a definite no-no and would just deflate everything. Just going to scrape the sides of the bowl. Reduce the speed to a four, add in the egg yolks one at a time, and mix for about a minute or until it's mixed very well. Sift in the bread flour and mix until it's just combined. And we're gonna mix this on a low speed of four and for one minute. Some honey. In a small bowl, dilute the honey in water. Stir it together. Pour this honey mixture into the batter and continue mixing for about one minute. Add the batter into the prepared pan. I just went with whatever baby size loaf pans I could get my hands on from the grocery store. We're gonna actually slam this pan down a couple of times to take out the air bubbles. It sounds pretty frightening. So I just take the cake batter and just drop it. And turn it around and drop it again. We're gonna bake this about 45 minutes in a preheated oven or 350 degrees that we preheated earlier. Once the cake is done and it's cold enough, we're actually gonna wrap it in parchment paper and some saran wrap and throw into the refrigerator so the flavor can develop overnight. It's the very next day now, so I'm gonna go ahead and try cutting this cake. The sides look extremely fluffy. And here you have a little baby Costello cake. Look how perfectly fluffy and beautiful these turned out. It's so silky and smooth and delicious. I feel like I can make keychains out of these guys. Um, the recipe only makes like this much, so feel free to like double it or something instead. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to watch my previous video. Follow me on all my social media sites. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next in my next video. And bye!